Welcome to TradeTheMBI.com. This is John's reports for the 20th of December, and we continue to just chug along here. Uh, moved above the 32, shakeout continuing to rise nicely, and now getting over that plus 15, so the warning line right there. But um, consistent with making new highs and achieving higher shakeout readings. Uh, I mean, talk about a tiny dip. We only we got back to was 76% stayed right within these ABMs and have been uh, just progressing beautifully. Got a couple of positive extremes from a daily standpoint. This most recent one that just took place right there. Uh, it's going to bring us back to the 3199. Uh, we see the same things on the 5K and that as well. Um, all pretty consistent. We're in this kind of light mode with uh, now that we're at the 20th on a Friday here. We're going to get into the super holiday uh, lead up to Christmas. Uh, should be pretty soft going there. Uh, the impeachment turned out to be absolutely zero from a market concern standpoint. And that had been the case, well, even from when it began, uh, there was just uh, no belief that there was going to be anything come of it. So the market just blew that off. And again, this was that chasing yield situation I talked about, well, back in what, October, then again in November, and it's played out exactly as expected. So this has been uh, spot on from our standpoint as far as the way we've seen it. Um, as far as the 50K had it, um, the buy from G's back here after the last sellout, uh, 3140. We're now at 3211, so we're getting close to nearing uh, 100 point uh, move on that one. If we look at a performance report, uh, we can go back to that. Um, we're still at the peak highs, waiting for this one to finally uh, close out. And when it eventually does, uh, we'll be at uh, record values. No shock with that. I think even the daily uh, we should be uh, just completed that one yesterday. Um, 205. And we can look at that Opus record. Calculate that real quick. So all in all, I think that there's been really not a whole lot to complain about vis-a-vis uh, -vis what we've been seeing from uh, all of our broader programs as well as uh, the intraday setups have all pretty much been consistent. Um, the Euro sliding back a little bit, uh, just filling in this positive extreme. It's right about here. No shock, but within the same range uh, because, again, there's still a lot of uncertainty as to um, growth within the Eurozone. Um, the stability has come from the fact that at least we know that uh, um, where things are at politically from uh, EU, Britain standpoint, uh, gives some clarity that the EU and everything is fine. This continued rise in oil is going to be an interesting one because as we get close to this high and if we break out of that range, uh, that's going to create a whole new paradigm because then we might actually start talking about inflation for the first time. So if we look at gold, we see we got P3 happening there. So this could be the first potential um, reading. The longer that oil stays up there, I think that the better chance of gold making uh, some move, and particularly as we head towards year end. The fact that the Fed threw so much liquidity um, at the repo situation and uh, all the transitions, and it looks like um, we've survived that. So from that standpoint, no alarm bells there. Intraday was pretty easy. We were in this tight range. It was interesting because once we got over the 50%, you had the uh, orange dip below. Could take it from that particular part, even if you wanted to wait until you saw right here the green um, transitioning uh, to just above the uh, uh, sign at this particular point and the red breaking into a new zone. Uh, it traded pretty much flat going across there for a little while and then finally broke out. Um, the little retrace that happened here uh, created a dip below the red line right at this spot the 3205 and then we also saw from the daily standpoint the 3199 which is closer to this positive extreme right over here which is just right about 32 even uh, low yeah 32 even is right and so those are the potential retrace areas that are going to take place we've already seen again same kind of situation where the slight dip but under uh, extreme moves of the steel where it comes down and, and resets like this and then once it pops back over you're thinking okay as soon as it gets over red uh, could be at the end of it and that's exactly what happened in this particular case and uh, a couple bars later so 
Not much from a short standpoint, but certainly uh, able to see the flip around to go to the long side. So as long as your shorts are defensive when you get that kind of uh, extreme steal from down below um, and not creating our uh, short runs, which is all this has pretty much been, plus daily and everything else with the cyan below. No real question marks as far as uh, that we're still within this bullish construct and uh, that hasn't changed uh, at this particular point. So we're happy. Holiday's good. Everything's going smoothly. Probably going to get another slow action uh, for the early part of the week as we lead right up to the Christmas break. But then after Christmas leading up right to New Year's could be uh, where I'm expecting to see a bit more um, activity as we get a year-end rollover and people start to capture some of those gains um, that they needed to catch up and earn their bonuses and stuff. So that's where uh, we're going to look to see uh, major activity of any kind if we're going to get some volatility swings. As always, though, I'll put up anything relevant. Trade well, and we'll talk again later.